Hello everybody, my name is Phoenix Fire and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Plasma Nuzlocke Challenge. Yes, in the last episode, um, we took on the Pastora City Gym and obviously beat it, but unfortunately we did lose two of our Pokemon uh, to that, which was Sora and Joe. But don't worry, um, I will be eventually transferring them over to my Pokemon Omega no, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. So yeah, just don't worry about that. Yeah, we are on Route uh, 213, and I don't think we've caught anything here, although there's a patch of like berries there and stuff, so we probably have done. I'm just going to double check to see if we've been through this entrance before. Yes, we have, so that's where we came from. So now we want to go... Oh, go to the Pokemon Centre first of all. <laughs> to heal them all up. Good morning, welcome to the Pokemon Centre. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, please. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again soon. Yes. Right then. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, right after we had the gym battle there, we had a little cutscene. Um, where pretty much uh, Barry said that there was like an explosion or something on one of the lake fronts. So... Let's just go and investigate where that is. Yes, I've still got uh, Steve, Benji, Kai, Zyra, Sakura and the new Kirito in our team. I'm sorry for people who are fans of Kirito and are wondering why I chose Krogunk. But yeah, when he evolves into Toxicroak eventually. Spoilers. Um, and then he gains two kind of toxic blades type things on his arms. So, and Kirito is a dual blader. Dual wielder. Yes. Let us cross down here without me bumping into any every single thing I come across. Also, um, how have you guys and girls been since the last Nuzlocke video? Yeah, you all been alright? The Pokemon of the Lake will come out of if it senses people. We're lying in ambush over here. Alright. Charming. <laughs> so yeah, um... No? Not down here? Alright. Stop! Stop! Yes, you! Sunny Shore City, which is down this road, has a major blackout. Crews are working on restoring power, but the road's closed now. Alright, I won't go down here. Fine. But yeah, I'm just going to um, go around seeing if I can find the whereabouts Team Plasma's gone to. So I'll be back in a sec. Yep, I found out where we need to go now. Um, we need to go to all the way up here to the Aquity Lakefront, uh, so we need to just fly to Eternity City, go down this road here to Mount Coronet, then go up, up, and up. So yeah, let us go back to Eternity City. I love it when he makes that noise. Also, is this music for this town? Whoop. Never mind. Racing everyone on our back is fun. Oh! Now then, this one, um, I won't capture this Pokemon. <sighs> Even though it had to be a Chingling, which is annoying to get anyway. Um, because I've already been on this route, and I've already caught a Pokemon on this route, so... Yeah, Steve can do your thing. Assurance. And Chingling is down. Steve gains 74 points, Sakura gains 74, and yep, 
Yep, that's about it. We. This is my coronet. Um, I think I've got a rock smash. Hang on. It's a rugged rock, but the pink one might be able to smash it. Okay, then maybe I don't know rock smash yet. I'm not sure. Bear with me, people. I'm sorry. Oh, yes, I do a rock smash, but I haven't taught it to anyone yet. That's fair enough. Uh, I'll teach it to, well, Kirito, because Kirito's a badass in the anime. Yeah, he already knows pursuit, faint attack, revenge, and swagger. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of swagger. Um, yeah, I think I'll get rid of faint attack. Just because, well, swagger, pursuit, and um, revenge. Yeah, they're all going to attack Sakurito. This rock appears to be breakable. Would you like to use rock smash? Yes! Kirito used Rock Smash with his awesome dual wielding ability. Oh, now here's a move I don't have yet. Strength. Hmm. That's alright though, I will be right back. Welcome back to another different change of scenery. Yes, I've been uh, having a look around for about five or so minutes and I found out um, that I pretty much need to go up to, well, be in go up from Solstine Town and then turn left into another city and then get to Aquity Lake from that way. But oh look, there's some Psyduck in the way. Yeah, another part of the cutscene was that um, that Cynthia, an unknown lady, <laughs> um, gave me a secret potion. So, if we use it on the Psyduck, the Psyduck is standing firm. They aren't inclined to move. Would you use a secret potion? Yes. Ellie used a secret potion. Psyduck appeared to be cured of their chronic headache. <gasps> and yep, as you can see now, they're all moving out of the way. Also, interesting thing, um, that secret potion is from the um, Johto region? Yeah. Yeah, when you go to Chainwood City. Anyway. Oh, good. You use the secret potion I give you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches. But no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh, yes. I can ask... Can I ask you a big favour? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it will be worth your while to go. Uh, yes, we will go, Cynthia. Yeah, this is Cynthia, by the way. Old charm in the key items pocket. My grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think you'll recognise her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. And the location. Look on your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Mwahahaha. Yes, so now this is a whole new route, so of course the first Pokemon to run into here is the one up. Hey, awesome! It's a Scyther! That is so cool. Yes, Scyther is a bug and flying type. And Scyther can evolve into Scizor. Um, after he gets a metal coat and is traded. But yeah, that's awesome! A Scyther! That's so cool! I don't really want to kill it. I really, really, really want to catch it now. Um, ooh. I suppose that we could use Grass Knot because bugs are strong against grass moves and I'm not... well, so grass types and I'm not sure how... Oh! Good, not that much damage. And there was a critical hit, so... Oh, false swipe, eh? That's cool. Not very fa yeah, fair enough. Alright, false swipe, pursuit. Oh, hell. Alright. Hmm, no, no. Alright then, I'll send out Kai. Kai. 
agility, okay. Also, we switching like this is a good chance to see um, the Scyther's move set and everything. Um, yeah, let's just try and catch it. I think we're going to use a great ball for this one. Ah, no. Oh no, the Pokemon broke free. Fast swipe again. Okay then. This Scyther is going to be a pain in the butt. Probably. Okay, Ultra Ball this time. One, two, three. Ah! <sighs> Although it is a male, so. You know. <laughs> oh man! Yes, I. Well. I think I know what nickname I'm going to give to Scyther. Unfortunately, the best nickname for Scyther that I could come up with has already been taken by a crow gunk. Right then, Scyther, this is my six Ultra Ball here. And I don't really want to use any of Benji's moves on you in case you get one hit by the thing. And Benji's a wee bit overpowered. By the way, I did cut it there. In case you're wondering, um, pretty much all I've done has been throwing another great ball at it. Then I've decided to switch out Benji because, well, he's the tank of the group. Um, and yeah, now I'm just more or less just throwing balls at Scyther. Sorry if this isn't very exciting, but you know, one, two, three. Ah, Scyther, Scyther, Scyther. You're a tough Pokemon to find, but when we do find you, you're a tough one to catch. Although there is a good reason for that. Although now I'll say it now, most people only get Scyther just because it evolves into Scizor, and Scizor is a bit of a badass. Although it is super, super weak to fire. One. Two, three, yes! Hey, awesome! Scyther was caught! Cool! Huh. Scyther, the Mantis Pokemon. The sharp scythe on his forearms become increasingly sharp by cutting through hard objects. That's cool! That's cool! Give a nickname to Scyther, part of the Nuzlocke, yes! And I have a name for it already. Uh, I'm gonna call it, um, hang on a sec. W. R. A. T. Oh my god, I'm really dumb. I can't find the letter T. T. Wrath. Now, I think that this suits Scyther rather well. But yeah, I'm just gonna uh, whittle about with the Pokemon in my party for a sec and then I'll be with you again in a minute. And I'm back in this area. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, pretty much what I did was um, I just switched out Kirito for Wrath. And took everyone to a Pokemon Center, but that is literally it. As you can see now, Steve is all uh, shiny, so... Or shiny healthy, so... Oh, Sucker Punch. That did quite a bit to Steve. And Steve did not much to Krogunk. <laughs> Alright. Yes. By the way, after this fight, I'll be ending the video. Um, 
So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It would be amazing. Plus, if you do, you, you get a free internet high five. And if you want to, you may even get a free internet hug. Obviously, Crow Kong didn't like the idea. Steve Goo. So, Core Code 274. And no, I'll not switch our Pokemon. And I use Aerial Ace again. After the Crow Gun, choose a Sucker Punch, of course. And Krogung is down! Benji again 274, Sakura again 274 And play defeated Ninja Boy something <laughs> Yes, in this area it's very very grassy and you have to watch out for Oh, Hyper Potion! For people um, popping out of the grass like that And the other one is Oh wow, Roselia! Cool! Roselia is a grass type, a grass poison type, and Steve is a normal psychic type. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it up. Um, oh yes, I know the bugs eat grass, so. Newest member of the team, Wrath. Oh my god. He actually does look like a badass from this angle. Wrath uh, doesn't have any bug moves at the minute, so I'm going to use Wing Attack, which I think is also strong against grass types. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Steve gained 108, Sakura gained 217, Wrath gained 108. Cool. Right up here, oh blimey, it's getting a bit uh, foggy. So, no, I haven't taught you that yet. Huh, fair enough. Yeah, there is an actual move to clear all this fog out of the way. Lo and behold, it's called defog. Yes, Wrath is able to, and Benji can, is able to, because they're flying types and they could just flap their wings really, really fast and get rid of the fog that's in the way, which is awesome. Uh, hmm. False pursuit, yes. False swipe, yes. Agility, yes. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna get rid of agility and give Wrath a uh, defog. And Wrath can use defog. Wrath, use defog. That sound though. Now I think I'm in a new area, I'm not quite sure. But as I said um, in that battle, um, I think you're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and if you're new, please subscribe, that would be awesome. Um, and yeah, as usual, have a good one. Bye!